The Thai government says the entire nation is in grief after a former police officer killed at least 38 people in a gun and knife attack at a nursery. He then killed himself and his family following the massacre in Nuang Bualampu province in the northeast of the country. Most of the victims were children. Thailand's king is expected to visit the town of Utai Suan. Our Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head is at the scene and I should warn you his report contains some very distressing images. This is a community now consumed by grief and shock that children so young had been deliberately killed by a fellow parent. The children were taking a midday nap inside the nursery when the attacker turned up to collect his son, who wasn't there, and then opened fire. It all went down really fast. He was slashing the knife. He didn't use the gun. He kept slashing in there. It's all by a knife. He was in the middle of reloading the gun. I held my hands up and begged for mercy. I didn't know what to do. Survivors were taken to the nearest hospital, but there weren't many. The authorities say the attacker was a former police officer who'd been arrested and was being tried on drug charges. They removed the last of the victims from this daycare centre a few hours ago, and there's little left now to indicate the horrific events that took place here. But there is stunned disbelief, not just in this village, but across Thailand, that however troubled his life may have been, this former police officer could have carried out such a cruel and desperate act. A few distraught family members stayed close by, hoping for answers, but there were none. Nanti Chapansham is lucky to have survived. She's a teacher at the centre. She described hearing the first shots as she was preparing lunch. She recognised the gunman as a parent, she said, but we never thought he would attack the children. This country is accustomed to gun crime, but nothing on this scale involving so many children. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Northeastern Thailand.